Please welcome to the MTech Singapore stage the president of MIT Technology Review, Kathleen Kennedy. All right. Thank you, Laird. All right, I'm back, so you know what that means. The innovators under 35, Singapore. Now, we are going to celebrate the last group of the winners. Raise your hand if you were not here yesterday. Do we have any new people in the room? Okay, good. So then you all know what this means. So they have three minutes to do their pitch, to tell them about their technology and why it matters. And we've got Vivian from NUS to start us off. Vivian. Good morning, all. In the coastal zone, water systems are complex because of the interplay between city waste and fresh water, as well as processes such as groundwater flow, surface runoff, and coastal currents. Models hence are required to simulate a wide range of spatial and temporal scales. Today, no model is able to include all of these processes on its own. My approach is to develop a carpet coastal ocean hydrologic modeling tool to understand land sea linkages and to use the model to investigate the transport of pollutants in and around Singapore waters. The hydrologic model will be used to track pollutants from land based sources into the coastal ocean. The coastal ocean model then computes the transport of pollutants to understand if they are returned to the shoreline and cause eutrophication and beach closures, or if they are diluted by mixing to levels that do not harm human health and ecosystem. The coastal zone also lies at the interface of land and sea and are particularly susceptible to the effects of climate change. The coupled model will be used to investigate effects of sea level rise and hydrologic changes in the coastal zone and we also study the effects of transport of pollutants due to climate change impacts. We use an integrated approach to projecting change in the coastal zone. The drivers of the system then are the environmental inputs, the intermediate outcomes are the model simulation results, and the overall project outcomes will be the adaptation strategies that we come up with. This work will be very useful to increase our understanding of flow and transport in the coastal zone. Um, it will also be very useful to policymakers and planners to f formulate adaptation strategies to cope with climate change and anthropogenic influences. My name is Vivian Chua, and I'm an assistant professor at the National University of Singapore. Thank you. <laughs> 